Hello and welcome to one, two, three, Abby Liz's video of how to make a fortune tower. The first thing you'll need is a piece of paper, pencil, scissors, and if you want, markers. Now, the first thing you need to do is take your piece of paper and fold it to almost the edge of the other side. And, what, and if you already have a square piece of paper, you don't need to do this. But if you have a regular pr piece of printer paper, then you need to make it to have, be a square. After you fold it like that, you take the leftover piece of paper and if you don't have scissors, you can fold it back and forth to make it to make it a a straight fit a straight edge so you can cut it so you can rip it but I have scissors so I am going to cut it off now after you have done that you open it up and it should be a square. And there should be a line through the middle. After you fold the piece of paper the other way, so it ends up something like this. You, fold, you unfold it and you should see that you have a big X in the middle. After you do that, this is what I like to do, but you don't have to. I like to draw a dot where, it, where the four lines meet, and then draw a line down the creases. Doesn't have to be straight. If you want it to be straight, you can take rulers. And do it. After you have that, you take each corner and fold it to the middle. After you have done that, you want to do flip it over and do the same or do what I do, do what I like to do, and put the draw the lines. Now you can see it's a little smaller this time because we, on the other side we were folding the sides in. So you want to take, you want to do the same thing we did on the other side. Take the corners and fold them to the middle. If you need help with this, you can just ask your parents for help and they'll probably help you. Um, after you you have a smaller square and then you want to fold it in half like that and fold it in half again
like that. And then there's pockets. On each side, two pockets on each side, and you put your, your thumb and your pointer finger in them to make it a fortune teller. Now you see that you have, you can move your fingers on the bottom to make the top move. Now, that was how you make a fortune teller. Stay tuned to hear the to see the next episode of how to play with your fortune teller and how to draw on it and how to make it a real fortune teller. It will have it will be looking like this. Thank you.